Hello everyone, this is Jasmine from Jasmine Draws Art, and today I'm going to be talking about your art doesn't need to be perfect. And the reason I'm talking about this is because a lot of artists, myself included, have gone through this. I, I'm pretty sure if you haven't, then maybe you're not a true artist. I'm, I'm just kidding, but the whole point of this is when you're drawing something and you want it to be a certain way and it doesn't turn out, you get discouraged, right? You're like, every time I want to draw something, it doesn't come out the way I wanted it. Therefore, it's useless. I don't want it. Um, I have to start over. My work is no good. Now, that's obviously really bad for your mental health, really bad for your cre like creativity. You really have to learn how to just draw, let go, and realize not everything has to be a masterpiece, not everything has to be exactly the way you pictured it or the reference. It doesn't have to be photorealistic, it doesn't have to be the most smooth lines, it doesn't have to be the best shading. You can draw things that suck. It doesn't have to look good. You can draw things that, you know, it's not considered beautiful. You can draw anything you want. But you have to just learn to sometimes draw for yourself, draw for practice, have some patience with yourself, take some time to just do kind of like a brain dump on paper, a mind dump. Just let it all out. Just draw a whole bunch of different things or paint or whatever kind of medium you use and just go all in with it. because. When you put so much pressure on yourself to do something that has to be just a certain way, you're actually stunting your growth. You're not allowing yourself to be like, okay, well, I made a mistake. I'll learn from it next time. Instead, you just stop yourself in your tracks right there and you start walking backwards. And that's not going to help you get anywhere. That's not going to help you like get any progress when you're drawing. Drawing is all about practice and mistakes. Yes, it is about mistakes. Art would not be art if there weren't mistakes that you had to learn from. No artist would be where they are now if they didn't make mistakes like all the time. I'm not saying you should do it on purpose. I'm saying that when you do make one, you should really just try and be like, okay, what I don't like about this one is because this happened. And then you can look up, maybe, if you don't know how to do it yourself, uh, you can look up how to do it and you can follow tutorials or you can just keep trying until you get the result that you want on your own. It all depends on how you feel comfortable learning and exploring your talent. Drawing isn't meant to be like, okay, be all, end all, this is it. If I ruin this, then everything I do after this is just garbage and I'll never make art again. I should give up. This shouldn't be happening. And unfortunately, yes, a lot of people do do this. I I have done it a lot. <laughs> um, I always try and push past it though because I know what comes afterwards. And the older I get, the more I realize that it's okay to make a mistake. It's okay to screw up. It's okay to make something ugly, make something you don't like. You don't have to like everything you make. Just like how in life you don't have to like everything you do, but you learn from it and next time you know, hey, maybe I'll try and do this better or I won't do that next time. And you just kind of have to keep moving on with it until you get to a place where you're comfortable with making whatever you make for the sake of creativity, for the sake of your mental health, for the sake of working on projects, anything you do. Art is a highly stressful <laughs> like hobby or job because art is something that is subjective to everyone and everyone's not going to like what you draw even if you do and you're not going to like everything you draw but someone else might. You never know. You kind of just have to go with it and it's not like you have to you know announce to the world hey everything I've ever made you have to see. You can keep some things for yourself. You don't have to be like oh I don't want to show this to anyone. Well, don't. You don't have to. Art is a very particular thing. If it's private to you, if it's special to you, or you don't feel like you're ready to share it, 
then don't. You don't have to do things you don't want to do. And even though we love art as artists, um, it can be very stressful, as I mentioned, because when you are making things and you feel pressured to always produce a finished piece, always have the perfect composition, always have the perfect layout, have the perfect picture, scanning, like photo quality, all of that. And those things can be important to a certain extent. It doesn't have to be 100% all the time. You know, if you get like 40% in that and 2% in something else, you know, it adds up to make value anyway. Your work is still not deemed to be doomed if it doesn't get like all the likes that you want or if you didn't put as much work into something but it does really well and then something you worked really hard on barely gets anything, you know, that's kind of how life is. And it's not always going to be that way, but we tend to think, especially with social media in our lives now, that likes and comments and shares equal value, which is not the case at all. I mean, for crying out loud, look at all the famous artists that are huge now. Their work is priceless. <laughs> and yes, it all happened after they died. When they were alive, most of them weren't recognized or people didn't really care or they put them down for it. And it's... It's just kind of how things have gone for the longest amount of time. And that's why artists get so self-critical and critique their work harder than they would anyone else's. And they really just dampen their spirits to making art. And so they work themselves to burnout, which is not good either. You can practice and practice, but don't do anything that's going to make you hate art and not want to do it anymore. Because what's the point of that? What's the point of choosing this profession, something that you love, something that you love to do as a hobby, and then ruining it for yourself? You have to take time to do things for your own self-interest, something that you find enjoyable or just relaxing, no pressure. You could even just draw different shapes and then color them with different colors and draw things on top of that. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy. You can do things that maybe even like children art projects, something that you know you can do that is no pressure, it's just something fun. Art should be about enjoying it and trying to reach your potential without forcing yourself to constantly do something. If you force yourself to the point of burnout, then how the heck are you going to make anything new? How are you going to get to that point that you always want to be at, where you want to be a certain kind of style or reach your goals that you have as an artist? You need to be patient. You need to take the time, put in the time. And you need to know when to step away, take a breath, come back to it with fresh eyes, fresh mindset, and just put yourself to work. Don't stress out over the small things like getting every last detail and rendering just perfect isn't going to make the piece, you know, significantly like, well, now this is worth something. This is the only thing that it needed and now I have no qualms with it. Everybody should love it. Everybody should love me and it's going to be great because nothing on earth works like that. And look, they even have computer programs, AI programs now that can draw, make faces, make paintings, make art, and even those aren't perfect. And yes, that was designed by humans, but everyone seems to think, oh, with technology, everything comes out straight out of the box exactly the way it's meant to. Well, absolutely not. You have to work out the bugs. You have to see the kinks in the system and learn how to fix it and what to do and what not to do next time. Everything requires balance. And balance is the key to everything. Not just art, but everything in life. You know, you gotta take care of your mental health, your physical health, your well-being in all aspects of life. And that also applies to anything art-related or something that you enjoy doing. Art should be about joy and coming up with something 
you had never thought of before, or making a piece that didn't exist, something that didn't exist before. Think about how profound that is. As humans, we can make something that didn't exist before. Before we made it, it was not in the universe at all. And yes, you I'm, I know you can draw from photos and all that, but nobody made it except you. You are the only person that could make your art your own. And see, look, all these drawings aren't completely perfect, but I had fun doing it. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and to subscribe for more content. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.